Again, I thought to give you idea about dimensioning in space claim. In previous video, we have also learned about this thing, this technique. And so again, I thought this is very important aspect of uh, space claim and uh, it is very unclear in the help about dimensioning in space claim. And therefore, I will again dimension, dimensionalize this whole model that is design number two in space claim. And uh, for that, we need planes on which we can create these dimensions. So you can click on this triad, this x, y, z uh, axis and you, you will be able to create these three planes here. Uh, this plane can be moved to the bottom of this geometry and uh, they will be used to dimensionize this uh, these two pipes say that 40, 40 millimeter and uh, this can be moved up to the this end of the heat exchanger and uh, this is at the distance of uh, 60 millimeters so first of all we will use this plane and uh, for that we will go to detail menu and uh, from detail menu you can right click on the this plane here and activate and also make sure that we have the uh, it is designated as the plane for the uh, plane for the annotation so activate and then start to dimensionize so we will put the dimensions here and first of all dimension for uh, this plate and can be placed on anywhere like here second dimension I would put is the length of the shell which is 300 millimeters and uh, we can place it anywhere over here and also the length of this header system so this is same length on the both sides and so it's, it's enough to put the length on only on the dimension only on the one side and also this uh, axis, uh, this distance of this uh, center axis of this pipe from the, the left side of the shell and this is very important dimension here and you can place it over here or maybe here and uh, similarly this dimension also important so this is 12.5 millimeter from this end of the plate and you can place it over here. So dimension for the main uh, tube and the shell system is complete. And now the dim important dimensions are this uh, uh, diameter for these pipes for the shell and for the header system. And for that we have to activate this uh, plane here. And you can right click and uh, set as an uh, annotation plane and start put dimension for this pipe which is 30 millimeter and uh, for this pipe it's uh, so we don't need to put the radius but the diameter okay so i deleted the dimension because it was showing the radius and again click on the curve here and now this time it is showing as the diameter 60 millimeter and uh, the last dimension is the dimension of uh, this uh, whole geometry which is the cross sectional area and uh, for that we will use this plane and uh, set as annotation plane and here put the dimension for the diameter of this cylinder here and now you can put the view like in this way and uh, in order to save the picture you can go to the file menu and from file menu click on save as and uh, choose the appropriate format for the picture this can be the gif jpg png or tiff so let's say i choose the jpg format and uh, in the g folder geometry 7 you can put any name of for your picture file and uh, let me check the, this picture file in the G drive and double click it to open it so now you can see that we have this model along with the dimensions so this is a way how to uh, put the dimensions on the model so this is the second video about dimensioning and previous video we also did the same thing but this time again I wanted to uh, make it uh, on the another geometry so that we, we can be clear about dimensionize, dimensioning 
the whole model in the space claim. So in the next videos you will understand that this is a very important thing here and uh, this is very, especially very important when you want to communicate with someone else in the design team or maybe any person who does not know about this, this thing at all.